What's up YouTube? Alex is here. So in today's video I want to show you guys exactly how to set up a Facebook pixel properly on a landing page. Because there are a lot of videos out there how to set up a Facebook pixel but its content is outdated because Facebook makes a lot of changes and you know update all the time. The same with uh, ClickFunnels. They do all the you know change switch everything around. So I want to make this video so you can save a lot of time because it took me a while when I was fi figuring out by myself. I watched probably like 20 videos before uh, I found a really a new video that helped me to f set up a Facebook pixel. So I'm putting some awesome stuff here uh, as you see. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I, I also do daily uploads, you know, social media marketing, uh, affiliate marketing. So with that being said, uh, let's get, you know, start with that start right away and uh, so with that being said guys first thing what we're we gonna do we're gonna go on Facebook obviously and here you're gonna click on uh, manage ads so I'm showing you from the beginning and on the left corner you want to click here and then you, you will go on all tools and you're gonna click on pixels okay so then you will have this page and actually I'm using a uh, brand new account so you, you this is exactly how it's going to look uh, at your account. So you're going to click on create a pixel. Oh actually I, I probably didn't explain why we set up a pixel. So the reason why we set up a pixel so we can track the, our sales and we can set up a pixel how many people went on our page uh, and did not opt in. So we can set up pixel by uh, page view and also how many people opt in a lead. So in future, you can remarket to them, retarget these people with future offers and also, you know, play different uh, strategies with split testing. So it's pretty cool stuff that you need to implement uh, in your business for your clients or uh, if you have just your own business. To, in order to track sales and uh, create a remarketing list. So, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna give the name of your pixel, create. After that, gonna wait. Okay, then here, there are a couple options. First one, uh, integration and with a tag manager, we don't need that. It's for someone who uh, used, want to set up a pixel if you have Shopify store or on your website. We, for this particular, in this particular video, we're setting up pixel on a landing page, on a ClickFunnel page. So we're gonna go and manually install the code yourself. Then here, gonna go all the way down and to uh, step number two. And you want to copy this code, just click here. Then you can uh, you go and click funnels your account, okay. And then you're gonna pick your uh, funnel, and here you will go on settings, and on this where it says head tracking code, you want to paste paste this code what we just copied from, okay. We just copied this code code, this one. We paste it here. Then go all the way down and click on save and uh, update changes. Okay. Okay, everything is cool. Now, second step, uh, we're not done yet. It just uh, just does the half. So next step, what we uh, want to do, we need to set up uh, pixel events. So this is uh, gonna help us specifically track uh, and create in future uh, custom conversions based on how many people went uh, through the our steps in our funnel. So next step, you're gonna click on continue. Here, what do you wanna guys do? You wanna first click on view content, go down, and this is the code we need to install on a click funnel page. This is the code that's gonna help us track how many people landed uh, open our page but not opt-in didn't you know uh, it, it says by itself did, did not go to the next step on, of our funnel 
So we're going to click this, copy. Then we go on our opt-in uh, step of our funnel. We click on edit page. And then here on the settings, you're going to click on tracking code. And you want to paste this code here. Okay. After we paste this code, you're going to close it and click save. It's important. Okay. Now we've done that. Now we want to go back and copy the next code that we want to install on the thank you page and uh, track how many leads, how many uh, people opt in. So we're going to create a click on generate, generate lead, click here, and we will copy this code as well. Copy this code, go back on click funnels. We are going to thank you page. It's our where uh, people opt in, how many people went. Then edit page. Okay. Then we're going to click here settings, the same tracking code, and we will paste it right here. Paste our code, the same save. Okay. And boom, and that's simple. We just set up pixel on our pages and now we are able to uh, track that and create a custom conversions and also retarget these people which is the, the best part to uh, reduce cost per click and increase your uh, sales. So the next step we, uh, we're gonna do we want to check if our uh, pixel was created set, it, uh, set up properly. So you guys, you want to use the Chrome to, uh, to do that, and there is a, you can install a Pixel Helper. You can either click here, and I already have the uh, this installed. So let's check if we set up our uh, Pixel properly. So what you want to do, you want to go back here, copy our landing page. Now I'm gonna open Chrome. Chrome, and we'll pay, uh, and it's gonna show if we set up Pixel properly. If not, uh, with for our, in our landing page, which is obviously, and it takes forever. So guys, it took me two minutes to open the uh, freaking Chrome. So once I'll just open it, and uh, I want to show you that the next step I, I told you we're gonna show, uh, see how we set up our Pixel if it's proper. If not, so. We copy. We copied our uh, uh, landing page. We go here, and as you see here on a, a Facebook Pixel Helper shows that three, uh, the number three. And if you click here, you see that we installed properly our Pixel. Everything green shows properly. Micro data is the uh, first Pixel that we installed. The uh, the first step, if you remember. Then, we, as you see, we have here page view and uh, view content. So, and if we go on a thank you page, it's going to show us that we uh, have our uh, lead, lead pixel, lead event pixel. I know how to say it's in proper terminology, but you, you got the point. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is exactly how you want to set up your pixel. And in the next video, I'm showing you exactly how to track your sales uh, using the pixel and how many people went on your page and also I'm, I will show you how to create a custom conversions where uh, you will be able to retarget these people and create retargeting lists so stay tuned to the next video guys thank you so much for watching and if you're new here make sure to subscribe I'll see I'm sharing with you some awesome stuff uh, also Leave your comment if you, uh, if you have uh, any questions or need, need help with something. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And again, guys, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.